is a video to help others that might have had the same problem that I had uh, with my Tyro 79 quadcopter flight controller. And uh, it was a problem of my own creation, but I didn't realize it. I want to show you what caused the problem and how to fix it. So we connect in Betaflight. And uh, you can see here that my quadcopter is uh, functioning, at least as it should be. And I wanted to update the firmware. The firmware that came on the flight controller was about a year old. And it came with a Betaflight firmware. But I wanted to update it. And so I went to a CLI and typed in diff all and here's where my error was uh, I was looking for the target and instead of looking at the board name which is uh, VG good or V good RF RCF 4 I was looking at this STM 32F405 and this one here kind of looked like it ought to be the right target because it had a firmware date and version. And so I selected, I said, okay, that's my target. I go and select update firmware. And here is the correct target. I've uh, fixed it, but uh, what happened there is I started at the top of this thing and started looking for the STM, and uh, there it is, STM32F405. And so I selected that as my target. Now, in doing uh, research on this to try to fix the problem, uh, a lot of people are saying the STM32405 is not a target, but there it is in the list of targets. And so I selected that, and I did a full chip erase. Uh, I don't know that it makes any difference whether you are using a manual or automatic baud rate, but I'm using manual, and it seems to work. I load the, the version, and uh, there it is again, is the, the version of, the, of that particular file, and I flash my firmware. So we're back. It was successful. And you can uh, now go in and connect. When you connect, you get this warning. There's no motor output protocol selected and all sorts of other problems. When you close that out, you can't see it. I'm moving my quad, but nothing is happening. I'm figuring I have bricked the flight controller. And so you go in and click CLI and type in diff, D-I-F-F, -F, all, A-L-L. -L and slide up and you will see this error that there is no config found. And so that's really the problem because there's no standard config that goes with that particular STM 32F405. So that's the problem. Uh, the easy way then to fix that problem is to go in and, and put in the right target. So click the update firmware. And this time, select the VGoodRCF4 target and download that. Here's the interesting thing. You'll look and you'll see the STM32F405, but the target is the, uh, the GoodRCF4. So that's the right one. Uh, and go ahead and flash that firmware.
again using the uh, complete chip erase. So that was successful. You'll note, uh, the first note there shows that uh, that the bootloader is stored in ROM and can't be bricked, but boy, I didn't believe that. Anyway, uh, that's uh, successful there. You go up and click Connect, and you'll get this notice here to apply the custom defaults. If you don't see that notice, there's a problem, and you must apply those custom defaults. Otherwise, you'll have the same problem. You get back here. And uh, then you go back up and click the connect, and you'll get this error warning, uh, the warning error, but uh, not a problem. Uh, that just simply says that you've got some calibration to do. Go ahead and close that out. And uh, you can see now that uh, everything's working the way it should work. And uh, I'm going to put this on a level surface and just calibrate mine right now so that it's uh, ready to go and again it's back to uh, business so hopefully that will help someone else i wish i hadn't made that mistake but i did